Hey everyone, it's John. Welcome to another review with me. Today, even though I'm wearing this new Ramen Express shirt, I'm not going to be doing a ramen review. Got this shirt a while ago and I haven't really used it, so I wanted to show my support for another company while I am doing a review for Buffalo Wild Wings. Currently, Buffalo Wild Wings has four new flavors out. I'm not sure exactly when they came out. But they're still listed as new on their website. I wanted to try four flavors, so I got two buy one get one freeze of six pieces each. And that was the cheapest way I can get them. These are all traditional wings, so no boneless. I also noticed they have cauliflower wings now, which I find very interesting. It's going to be really interesting uh, editing audio here, because I usually like to look to sync up what my mouth is doing to the words that are coming out. But since I have this cool mask that I got from the Mask Club, you know, so I did wear this one in a review before. That's pretty cool, right? This one is uh, actually Ron Swanson. It has the Parks and Rec label right there. This one, uh, if you go to the Mass Club, it's called The Hipster, which I think works for me in a few ways. Um, the nose on this one I don't quite like as much as I like the Ron Swanson nose, the, the nostrils are a bit lower on this one. The nostrils on this one are a bit higher, so I have to like kind of pull it down if I want to line it up correctly. Which then like makes the bridge really low on my nose and then allows for more air to come up. But uh, the one thing I do like about the Mask Club masks is they're very long, so I can get it really high up on my nose. And I can get it really around my chin at the same time. And it has the bendy thing in the nose. And really, if you get all that together, high up on there, it really traps the heat below here. doesn't fall off the glasses as much. That still does sometimes, but with the, the length that we get, I got on this mask, it, it works really well. Again, the only thing I don't like about this mask is like the print of the nose is too high. So every time I look at myself, I want to pull it down so the nose matches up more with my nose. That defeats the purpose of having it. Super long to get up, up high like that. Anyway, let's take it off. All right, so let's get to the, th the four new flavors from Buffalo Wild Wings. We're going to go from what they say is least spicy to the most spicy. First up, we have lemon pepper wings. See them lemon pepper wings? I know what you might be saying. Those aren't new. They've had them for a while. They had a dry rub lemon pepper wing before. They still do. But new is the actual sauce. It's a lemon pepper sauce, not a dry seasoning. The smell is very lemony. There's definitely tons of black pepper they put on top of it. I got ranch. I got blue cheese. I don't think lemon pepper wings go with any of those. Maybe ranch. We're going to try it with a little bit of ranch after I taste it by itself. All right, drum or flat? Let's go because it's on top of the drum. You can see lots of pepper on it. A lot of gooey sauce. Let's give it a taste. Okay, the flavor on that, it's weird, when it's on the chicken, you don't get like a, the tangy lemoniness a lot. When I licked off my fingers, it was like, it's very tangy and lemony. Let me give it a, a flat a try, and try some in ranch too. Mmm, okay. That bite I got, maybe the drum dish didn't have good amount of sauce on it or maybe when I was touching it it just all rubbed off on my hand dip in some ranch no don't dip in ranch 
lemon pepper and the ranch. They taste weird together. Don't do it. Okay. So, that first piece must have not had a good mix on it. Because that one was very lemony. They already had the the dry rub lemon pepper. And if you looked on these, you could see there's definitely something they sprinkled on top after it was sauced. So I think they're still using the dry rub lemon pepper. And they're putting some kind of uh, lemony sauce underneath it. But the sauce is kind of bland. All the flavor is coming from that sprinkle they put on the outside. Which I'm assuming is their dry rub lemon pepper. Which I've never had before, but I like on this. I wonder if they would have tasted better without whatever that sauce is underneath it. I think the underneath the sauce might be like a, it's like a, a basic lemon. But the, uh, the lemon pepper sprinkle they've had on the outside, it's really good. If you go to Buffalo Wild Wings and you typically get the non-spicy ones, this one's a good one to try. Uh, my favorite non-spicy one is like that garlic, it's like a garlicky cream sauce. The next one in the series of spiciness, as you can see in the word here, pizza. A pizza flavored chicken wing. Here's what it looks like. This one also looks like it has some kind of seasoning uh, on top. There's like some kind of sauce underneath and then a seasoning on top. Just like last one, I'm going to start with a uh, a wingette first, or a leg, a drumette, a drumette. Yeah, I think I know what this is. Okay, pick up this flat, I'll show you. See on this side, and then I flip it over, see this side. This, the sauce almost looks white, right? That looks like that creamy garlic sauce they have. And then they sprinkled some kind of rub on top of it. And the, 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 the rub on top, it happened like a savory tomatoey type of flavor. No. Got some dust on the bottom. I'm trying to determine. I think it's just like a savory, salty tomato kind of powder they put on top. It, does, it has some other seasonings, some green seasonings, probably some Italian seasonings. So this one starts with a base of that creamy garlic sauce, and then they put like a tomato powder on top. I think this one tastes good with ranch. Let's give it a taste. When you guys eat wings, how like clean do you get them? This is about what I do. I've eaten two of the pizza flavored wings. And what I will say about that is 
I think pe calling them pizza flavored or a pizza sauce is not really what it is. It's like a garlic tomato. It doesn't really taste like pizza much at all. I guess you can say it kind of tastes like pizza sauce. Kind of, if you're thinking like pizza sauce is just garlic and tomato. It, it, it's definitely the, the two I've tried so far, not my favorite. The lemon pepper one, if you like lemon pepper, you'll like that one because of that seasoning on the outside. The pizza flavored one, it's okay, it's not bad. It's just that it doesn't taste like pizza. It doesn't taste too special. Moving on, we have orange chicken. Orange chicken is something you probably buy when you go to uh, a Chinese restaurant and have American Chinese food. Orange chicken, it usually comes in like an orange sauce, orange or red sauce, sometimes broccoli, sometimes you'll get like uh, sesame seeds sprinkled over the top. Here's what it looks like here. I would have ordered these as the boneless style if I wasn't trying to save money with the buy one get one free traditional wing deal that I had today. Just because like when I have uh, orange chicken, it's usually boneless because you get it from a, a Chinese place and they typically don't serve it as a wing or a bone-in type chicken. Um, for this one, I'm going to get a little blue cheese ready. I'm not sure how spicy this is. It is listed as spicier than those two. Uh, typically, it depends on the restaurant you go to for Chinese food, if it's spicy or not. And typically, even though it is spicy, it's just a mild spice. Let's go ahead and start with this drum. Look at the meaty part. There's just a hint of any kind of spice in this one. The sauce is not very special at all. Um, when I said like, yeah, there's a little hint of spice in there. There's really just a hint of flavor at all in this. Uh, it's not, not very orangey, not very sweet, not very spicy. It's just like very mildly sweet, very mildly spicy. And if you didn't say this was orange sauce, you might not be able to guess that it has any type of citrus in it. I'm gonna try flat. I'm gonna dip it in some of this blue cheese. I think the flats, you're able to get more meat off of the flats. Some people like the, the, the drums because it's only one bone. It kind of looks like it has a handle on it. It might be a little bit easier to access. Access? Access? the actual meat that you're eating. Yeah, that's not normal. But, um, flats to me seem like you put in a little bit of extra work to it at the beginning and then you get more enjoyment out of it. You're not digging around the ends that much. 
I think the lemon pepper one's still my favorite out of these new ones so far. This next one is, uh, I might just eat one of them because it's made of Carolina Reaper. This is the Blazin. And the new for a limited time Blazin has Reapers in it. That just doesn't look nice. It doesn't look nice at all. I'm going to get some wet naps ready. Here we go. The new Blazin Carolina Reaper. I think they've had ghost pepper for their Blazin before. And I think I've tried it. Anytime I've tried Blazin, it's never been much past two wings at most. <sighs> I got some blue cheese. I got some ranch. Don't think either one's going to help too much at all. Here we go. The Blazing Carolina Reaper from Buffalo Wild Wings. Come on, blue cheese, help me out here. <coughs> There's some hiccups. The hiccups had to start when I started coughing. We're gonna do one more. Get another wet nap though. I'm getting that pools of water just in my eyes. We're getting harder to see. We're gonna do a flat as well. We've done one of each for everyone so far. We're gonna do one. Let's try it with some ranch. The ranch helps. For some reason, the second one wasn't as bad. As you can see, that one was definitely the spiciest. I'm going to give you my opinion while I munch on some veggies. Mmm. That's why you get the celery. Celery scoops up the so uh, the ranch or the blue cheese so good. Ah, that's what you need. Plus the celery is cold and crunchy. Let's try a carrot and some ranch. Always good. You gotta get your veggies. I'm basically eating a salad here now. Sometimes when I get such a spicy mouth, it makes words not come to my mind. I feel like Joe Biden at a debate here can't finish a complete sentence. The buffalo, the uh, buffalo wild wings, the blazing 
reaper wings. It's like it's like having an orange man interrupt every thought process you have. And when you're senile like Joe Biden, it's not something you really need to help you finish a sentence. Anyway, the wings. Lemon pepper, out of all of these, if I'm going to enjoy some wings, those are my favorites. The orange chicken was kind of bland. The pizza one was okay, but it didn't taste like pizza. It tastes like garlic and tomatoes, which could have been like spaghetti sauce flavored wings. I think you, you really need uh, some like fennel maybe to get like a, a sausagey flavor to it. Uh, or other kind of spices. Or maybe even like put some uh, Parmesan cheese on top of them when you're done. There's no cheese flavor at all. It's just uh, tomato and garlic. Maybe like the creaminess of the garlic they want you to think is cheesy. But when I have the the Italian garlic, this creamy garlic one, I don't really think of cheese. Although now I'm thinking it, I think it's Parmesan. Cheesy Parmesan. Parmesan garlic. So the sauce is called Parmesan garlic which I think is that sauce underneath it. Interestingly enough, when they rank them by spiciness, the Parmesan garlic is ahead of the pizza. So does the tomato powder they put on top of it make it less spicy? And the orange chicken, they have between the spicy garlic below it and the Asian zing above it. Asian zing is actually one of my favorite sauces they have there. Uh, as well as the jam and jalapeno, Thai curry, and like the sauce, the spiciest sauce they have there that I think is really tasty is the hop is the mango habanero. Never had the, the dry seasonings. I've never tried any of the dry seasonings. They got salt and pep salt and vinegar, lemon pepper, chipotle barbecue, and a buffalo in a desert heat. Desert heat being a dry seasoning does sound terrible because who would want to eat something like dusty and dry but also very hot? But uh, Asian Zing, Jam and Jalapeno, and Mango Habanero are my top three Buffalo Wild Wing sauces of all time. None of these have broken into that for me, though the lemon pepper was the best out of these four. Uh, I'm going to give each one a number out of 10 just so I'm consistent with what I typically do here. For So we're going to start with what I like the least. Orange chicken. It's kind of bland. It's a very mild in every category. Very mild sweetness. Very mild spiciness. Very mild citrus flavor. I'm going to give that one a Five and a half out of ten. Second, we're going to go with the pizza. I don't think it tastes like pizza. It tastes fine. I'm going to give it a seven out of ten. The next one, this might surprise you, is the Blazing Reaper. As much as I reacted to how spicy that was for the first two, it, it went down easy enough for like a challenging type of spice. My, my mouth's pretty much already recovered from from it. Still have a little nasally drip. Don't have the hiccups anymore. So it, it's, it's very spicy, but you can get over it relatively quickly. Um, especially if you get your wet naps ready to make sure you get any of the residuals off your fingertips. And then my favorite, well, I didn't get the number. I'm going to give the blazing. 7.2 out of 10. My favorite being the lemon pepper. Still being out of these four the best doesn't mean that it's really, really great. I'm only going to give it a 7.6. 7 uh, 7.6 out of 10. And saying that, I probably wouldn't order it again for myself. Um, if, I, if I was with people who I knew really like lemon pepper i would suggest it to them uh because it does that the the sprinkling on the top which might just be what the the dry seasoning is which might make it actually better uh but 
it's the best out of these. It's 7.6. Personally, wouldn't order it again, but would recommend it to someone who is a, a fan of the salt and, not salt and pepper, the lemon pepper flavored wings. Anyway, this video is already like 30 minutes long, so I know it's going to be a heck of a lot of work for me to edit. <sighs> Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. For some reason, looking at analytics, as close the closer I get to a thousand subs, YouTube wants to be like, we're going to be really nitpicky about the subs you already have, and if any of them we think are old, we're just going to delete their accounts, because um, you're getting a little bit too close to that thousand number. So I keep going up a little bit, down a little bit, up a little bit, down a little bit, and the analytics tell me it's because inactive accounts are being deleted. If, if I would have had every unique subscriber from day one, I would already be at about 1,500 subscribers right now. But YouTube doesn't want me to have a bigger pool than Kanye. Anyway, I got uh, a product review coming up soon. And then I have an idea based on the um, McDonald's celebrity meals and other YouTubers making their own meals. I have an idea. It requires a, a certain item to be out soon, which it typically is around this time of year. Um, it's going to depend on that happening. Hopefully it does, so I can get that video out and show you guys. Until then, we'll see you later. Bye.